everybody my name is Tyler Chanel aka the marketing bully welcome back to my YouTube channel and today I'm gonna tell you how I sold 530 plus digital products in 72 hours 100% organically all right so if you're new to my YouTube channel um, I have been doing marketing for eight years I started publishing books and digital products a little over five years ago and over the course of the last five years I've published 15 books and over 40 different digital products between notion, temp notion templates uh, courses workshops webinar trainings different email templates and so many other things and so with me selling this many digital products it has a lot to do with me offering a large variety of products so I want you to keep that in mind um, so when it comes to selling digital products and you want to be able to do it organically without having to pay for ads which is what that means you're going to have to create content across social media platforms my choice of social media platforms to do this were Twitter and um, Facebook and in doing this I posted a lot of content more content than I would usually post and I also batch created this content and so in the process I ended up batch creating and planning out 150 tweets to share over the course of four days because I wanted to promote the sale before it started and then I also wanted to have content going out every single hour that this event was going on um, another thing is that I created a special incentive and offer that I had never done before in the five-year period um, of me publishing books and digital products I'd never done a big blowout sale I don't pretend Participate really in Black Friday sales when it comes to my tools and digital products and so this was something that my audience um, could truly look forward to so it created a, um, a huge incentive to fill in the gap of where people were versus what I was offering previously so the offer that I created was a $5 sale and I marked down everything on my website to be $5 for 72 hours well, it was $5 for 48 hours to my social media followers. And then there was a extra day for my email subscribers. I did use email and um, social media to make this happen. In the process of doing this, I had to um, do a little bit of planning beforehand. And so some things that I did to plan it out before, in addition to planning out and batch creating all my social media content, I also planned out and batch created all of my email campaigns. So there were a total of eight or nine email campaigns that went out because I had one email that went out a couple days before the sale announcing it to my um, email subscribers. And I told them before I even announced on social media and then uh, um, every day of the sale two emails went out one in the morning and one in the evening and then following up from the sale I also sent a thank you email to my email subscribers to thank them for participating in everything um, I also gave them early access to the sale the day that the sale was supposed to launch an hour in advance and so there were a lot of incentives for my email subscribers to shop there were a lot of incentives for my social media followers to become email subscribers to get access to these things um, the next thing to consider is that do you have an email list and is your email list engaged and have you been nurturing them all of these things play a factor into your ability to actually drive sales and get them interested in what you're offering and so but leading up to this sale I hosted the sale in mid-May 2024 um, but in March of 2024 I scrapped my email list and I completely started over and so I threw away a list with 4,000 emails subscribers and I rebuilt a list with 400 email subscribers and I was using this sale and this offer to test and see if they were ready to buy and convert based on all of the educational content that I had did leading up to this and so to grow my email list I did a marketing challenge um, in March and then I also have a freebie library which I highly recommend checking out if you haven't already it has a ton of resources and free ebooks and free downloads and free courses inside of it as well and then I also um, hosted a book giveaway for my birthday and so there's a few different things that I've done to regrow my email list of people who are genuinely engaged and excited about what I offer and what I want to share with them now if 
I was a small business owner and I didn't have a platform and I didn't have an email list to be able to push something like this, what I would do is I would start building that platform. I wouldn't start off trying to put these digital products out and push this sale um, or trying to heavily push my digital products. I would start off just creating educational content, building that like, know, and trust factor. And that one of the strategies that I always give small business owners is a 60, 20, 10, 10 method. 60% of your content should be extra educational, 20% of your uh, content should be social proof for customer or client reviews, case studies, testimonials, and success stories, 10% could be comedy, memes, and things to make people relate to you, and then the other 10% could be like behind the scenes, um, it could be things that you share to show like your personal growth and development, your professional growth and development, to keep people in tune with you on your journey. Doing these things collectively allow people to begin to trust you and trust the things that you put out and when people trust you they buy from you one of the only reasons that i truly believe that my followers bought this many products in such a short time um, in addition to it being things that they wanted for years and we never haven't done this sale is the amount of social proof that i put out and how many of my clients come out and say oh i love working with ty ty was awesome look at how much money ty helped me make those things coupled together created a really high demand for my products at the time that I put that new offer out. If I hadn't done all those things in advance, I wouldn't have been able to do that 100% organically. Um, before this sale, a good day of selling digital products for me would be selling 20 to 30 digital products a day. But during this sale, I was selling hundreds of digital products a day. And that is a big jump up for me. It also showed me that I could lower my prices on my digital Digital products to be able to sell more of them um, if I choose to do that permanently but more importantly it showed me that I do have things that people want but there are, are there may be financial barriers in the way for them um, the price point may be too high for them or maybe they're just waiting on the perfect time that align with what they were trying to do within their business um, something else to consider too is that when you create digital products your products need to be in line with your expertise um, and so so I don't recommend buying pre-made digital products. I really recommend making your own. The whole point of buying digital products is for people to get access to you, your expertise, your point of view, and the things that you want to share. Um, and if your digital products are just templates that you found on Etsy or from PLR programs that you see on TikTok and other platforms, the, the value of them really goes down because they have nothing to do with your creative intellect and your expertise. On the other hand, I make digital products about digital marketing, and that's what I specialize in. And so what I was putting out content wise and what my clients said about me lined up with the books that I was putting out and it created an environment to, to drive sales and to produce the results that I wanted. This took years of planning to be able to accomplish and do and you can do it, but I don't want to create an expectation that it's something that's going to be able to be done overnight. Um, I did this without going viral, even though I have over 30,000 followers online, none of my posts about this sale went viral. Um, most the the most liked posts that I had um, only had 50 likes on it um, outside of that all of the other posts had less than 25 likes on them and most of them drove at least a handful of sales anywhere from 5 to 15 sales per post that I shared um, and so I did publish a case study where I go more in detail about this. I give you access to the actual email campaigns that I wrote and designed. I also share more about my email open rates, my email click rates, my deliverability, my bounce rates, and my reader engagement. Alongside that, I give you access to the full content strategy, and I'll show you what my content looked like before I published it and how I planned it out, as well as linking a good amount of my tweet posts, my Facebook post and the social proof post of people shopping the sale and sharing screenshots of their orders. I put all of these details into a case study because I really want to dive in this with you and share um, how I was actually able to accomplish this with receipts. I show you screenshots of my Shopify dashboard to prove to you that I sold over 500 products um, in 72 hours. And so if you're excited to download this case study, make sure you check down in the description box. I did link it down for you below. As always, if you like this video, make sure you give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and drop a comment. Um, I wish you the best. If you decide to replicate this, make sure you reach out and let me know and share your results.